Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships and today we are looking at the Turen. Yes, it's not very often people look at these little low tier um, destroyers, cruisers and battleships uh, but as you know on my channel I like to cover them all I think they all deserve equal share of the spotlight um, yeah, yeah, low tier stuff, you know, tier 3, tier 4 you don't spend a lot of time in it, so let's just appreciate it, shall we? You know, there's a lot of work gone into these uh, on the games graphics team's uh, side, so yeah, I think we should give them the same share of the uh, spotlight. Anyway, I digress. Tier 3 French battleship Turenne. Let's have a look at her, shall we? Now, she's got a reasonable armour profile, considering Tier 3. Um, as long as you don't go broadside to stuff, you've got reasonably good armour. And you can tank a few shots, as long as you remain angled. Um, you're not particularly thick here. So that's worth remembering. Um, especially if you're fighting one of these. Aim above the belt, and you should get some good hits. The armour profile uh, for the Citadel isn't brilliant, yeah, so keep your angle is my suggestion as far as the armour is concerned. Uh, let's have a look at survivability, yeah, full disclosure, the boat is upgraded, so survivability wise 35,000, we have a 19% torpedo damage reduction from the torpedo armament uh, arm uh, torpedo bulging torpedo armor yeah that's the word random um, so it's not too bad it's not too bad it's kind of on a par really with the the tier 3 ships artillery wise we have six twin mounted 305 or 12 inch guns um, yeah they're kind of in an interesting arrangement um, you've basically got four available to you either side because if we have a, a quick look uh, at the boat you will see if we look down at it here gun 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 these cannot point this way these cannot point that way so you're only ever gonna get four on target at maximum um, and you do have an angle kind of like this because this gun at the back here has to get round the uh, rear mast there so mm, yeah you do have to show quite a bit of side to get all four on target so that's worth remembering now they fire out at 12.5 kilometers they have a maximum AP damage of 8300 maximum HE damage of 4200 and 22% fire chance. But they're not bad guns. They really aren't bad guns. Um, dispersion. Hmm. Let's just have a look here. The does it give you dispersion figure on here? Uh, do 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 do. I don't know. Yeah, maximum dispersion 188 meters. Hmm. So basically, several broadsides of a barn. Um, uh, yeah, your shells don't always go where you point them, and it's worth remembering that. Um, secondary armament, we have 20 of these little 100mm guns. They're single mounts, they fire out to 3 kilometers with a 1400 max HE damage and 4% fire chance. They're, 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 yeah, if they're firing something, it's really, really, really close, um, and you're probably doing it wrong unless you're going for a ram. AA defence is laughable, we have a total rating of 3. Uh, yep, we have 10 DPS, 1 kilometer range on the 8 single 8 millimeter guns. 8 millimeter guns, yeah. These. May as well have a couple of guys on deck with pistols. Maneuverability wise, she's slow, like all low tier battleships. She's 20.5 knots upgraded. Uh, it's 19.3, I think. Yeah, 19.3 um, <laughs> stock. And uh, turning circle 
is a very impressive 510 meters um, which is really quite tight for a battleship 11.2 second rudder shift and uh, yeah it's not bad that isn't bad yeah once you get her in a turn she she literally turns on a, a sixpence she phenomenal for getting round islands and stuff um, concealment wise 11.3 kilometers don't forget your range is 12.5 so if you fire your guns that goes up to 12.5 if you're on fire it's 13.3 uh, by air not that you'll see that many carriers really tier 3 but 8.3 kilometers two kilometer proximity spotting and uh, 8.7 if you fire your guns in smoke the captain has three points he has uh, what is it basic survivability I think it's called uh, preventive maintenance sorry preventive maintenance and adrenaline rush so they're the captain skills on the boat itself we have no modules because it's tier 3 so why would you want to spend money on a tier 3 boat hmm? you wouldn't really would you uh, if you were to I'll put a damage comm mod 1 and I would probably put auxiliary armament mod 1 on there to protect your secondaries more than your laughable anti air anyway we got some uh, economy flags on there because we're grinding up for the uh, Corbair which is the tier 4 so let's hit the go button and let's go into a co-op and let's see how we get on in the Turin right uh, tier 2 3 match we have a Foirung with its sneaky little deep water tops uh, Dresden Jurien de Gravier and uh, a Weymouth and a Chester so do you know what <coughs> I'm not going to put AP in my barrel so I'm going to put HE in because my AP I think will just overpen everything in this match so I'm going to put HE in now that gives us the uh, added opportunity um, yeah thanks ELO23553 but um, I'm doing a video so can't really join a division at the moment I'm afraid so let's jump across towards A eh? well I say jump I mean come on we only do 20 20 knots so hmm <laughs> So we'll get going now the turret traverse on this is pretty slow it is pretty slow so yep, we are detected already and we have a Wahamoth whose little pew pews are probably going to start firing at us yep there we go look Oh, we've got the Jurian over here as well. That's fine. No, I'd rather get rid of this Weymouth because he's coming out in front of me. Uh, probably about there. Okay. Take out his steering. Probably get the rear gun round and give it a little bit more lead. There we go, and take out his uh, propulsion there. So let's spin these guns round. Because I have a feeling Mr. Jurien de la Gravier over here. is cruising in. Got the Weymouth there again. V25 might possibly get some good hits on him but, but we want to uh, we want to hurt this guy and we've got some torps coming in there but I'm not too worried about them I don't know whether this thing has torpedoes I can't actually remember I 
think we're okay for uh, I think we're okay for torps. Yeah, I don't think he's got torp launcher. Let's give him a big bang there. We've got some more enemy torpedoes coming in there. Must be a uh, enemy destroyer over there. We'll take out his... I think that was his engine. So, yeah, we'll burn him down a bit. Set fire to him. And we've got more torps coming in. And we've got some uh, guns ready, so there we go, another fire. There we go, right, get rid of him. And you see what I mean about the turning, I mean it is, it's really good. It's sharp man, this thing handles like a mini. Right, and a, I mean a, an original Mini, not one of those terrible BMW things. Right, Weymouth, you're dead. Turin, let's see if we can get some shots onto you. Should hopefully capture this area. Yeah, we did get a shot on him, lovely. Superb, okay, right, 16,000 damage so far. Let's start sailing back over this way, because that's where all the enemies are. Uh, well, he's down. Turin, we could do with hitting. Uh, I don't know, the Chester's coming in, so... I think the Turin's sailing out of range. The Chester's coming in. Marvellous. So let's start heading towards... Bring the guns round. Uh, you, you, you must be in range there, Chester. Let's get some shots on, and we we'll head this way. And we took out his engine. That's lovely. We'll put another couple of shots down range. Might get, uh, a, yeah, we've got a nice hit there. So we've got a fire on him. So we let him burn for a little bit. That Turin is down. We'll get another shot on this Chester. There we go. All done. Right. She is slow. She is very, very slow. She handles well. And the guns can be a little bit trollish, the dispersion, but uh, we managed 19,826 damage, 16 target hits, 6 incapacitations, 1 sunk, 5 fires, 1 defend ribbon, 1 assist in capture ribbon, 8 secondary hits, 14,702 credits, 284 XP, 63 XP, let's have a look at the team score, yeah you kind of where you expect to be in this kind of boat I mean if everything comes at you you'd be a little bit further up but yeah if you go one way or it spawns you on one side and everything tends to go the other way then you've had it really detailed report for some numbers there uh, yep um, didn't really take a great deal of fire 50,000 so you know we survived quite well there and uh, 10,722, um, my premium has literally just finished, so it would have been 18,123 there. Um, Captain XP on that was 377, uh, would have been 565, so yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, it will take you a little while to grind through. If you uh, stick with the old co-op battles. But um, yeah, that's the Turin, tier 3 battleship. I'm going to grind my way uh, through another, what, 4,300, something like that, uh, just under. Yeah, 4,271, uh, sorry, 3,271 um, XP, and I will get myself to Corbair, and then we can see how that is but that will be for another video. So I do hope you enjoyed 
guys if you did you know what to do the like button loves a tickle go and, go and give it a little tickle uh, if you're new to the channel then of course you could subscribe if you wish um, don't forget if you do subscribe or you are subscribed make sure you tick that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get notified of when videos go up not just on my channel but make sure you do it on all of your subscriptions because uh, YouTube has a tendency shall we say not to uh, not to work as it should sometimes hmm, I think that's tactfully put and don't forget the comments section is there let me know what you think of the French battleships have you uh, got the Turin or did you just get one of the missions and start further up the line and haven't bothered going back uh, to the lower tiers um, yeah let me know there what your thoughts are anyway I think that's more than enough from me for now so thank you ever so much for watching guys but for now it is Captain Random signing off take care and I'll see you again in the next one.